Well, I mean, uh, again, we knew what we were getting into coming up here. Um, but we faced a lot of adversity early on. We didn't tackle as well as we needed to, but I thought, uh, you know, we made some corrections at halftime. I don't, I don't think they scored again. We tackled better. We stopped the run better in the second half, and uh, we converted better in our, in our red zone. So a lot to learn. Uh, my, my chief uh, concern right now is to get everybody healed up, get everybody healthy, and uh, you know, take a lot of time here over the next two days, watch the film, get, get some mistakes uh, pointed out, get it cleaned up. Now, what was the biggest problem in the first half? Was it more what you guys weren't doing, or was it? Just well, I think they did it again. They had 600 yards last week. You know, I mean, they had 600 yards and, and uh, they scored 45 points. So uh, we know what type of offense they are. Uh, we didn't tackle well enough, uh, and uh, a couple of plays were in the wrong gap. It's as simple as that. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't do enough, a good enough job tackling. And uh, they made some explosive runs, and uh, our guys settled down after that, and, and uh, we tackled better and kept them out of the end zone. Coach, good besides enough, for the health, uh, what other concerns do you have moving forward with this ball? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things we're fixing right now. So it's early in the season. I just talked to the guys about that. You know, again, I think we did a good job last week of just going in with our egos down, everybody, and just learning and and, uh, and making. Uh, improvements and, and changing some things. So uh, again, there's a lot of really good efforts out there, you know? Um, so again, it's just going to be just looking at things from a position standpoint, a unit standpoint, and getting them, getting them corrected. But again, uh, FAU is exactly what uh, I told them our guys they were going to be, the atmosphere, the energy, uh, all of it. So uh, again, uh, I think it was good that our guys weathered the storm, they stayed together, and they, they climbed out of it. Alex, do you have anything on Gary? No. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I, they think everything's good, and we're just going to get them all right uh, tomorrow to, ch to check it out. But they think everything's good. Al, jo Joe Yearby, well yeah. over 200 and whatever, 40 yards, total yards. Um, talk about his performance. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job. I mean, uh, Joe and Mark are really complimenting each other nicely. And uh, I thought Brad, you know, distributed the ball, especially in the second half. I just thought he settled down and, and threw the ball really well. We had a couple of drops. So we've got to get, uh, you know, cleared up. We've got to do a better job protecting him. Uh, but I thought Joe, I thought Joe and Mark played really hard. I, I really do. And then when Chalk came in, uh, Tran Gray, excuse me, when Tran came in, he did really well too. All the turnovers, especially that the, the defense was able to force there. How you know? Yeah. Did we have one? I don't think we had one, right? Yeah. So we protected the ball good, um, and uh, the defense took it away. You know, we had a couple of silly penalties uh, that we just got to get that cleaned up. I mean, there were just a couple of ones there that are just you know we're doing better there. And we did a better job protecting the ball. We just got to get a couple more things cleaned up. Third you quarter, third quarter of a tie game, in, with an atmosphere like this, yeah. you know it, it could have gone really, really bad. I mean, sure. it was looking bad there for a long yeah. time. Obviously, what to say about you guys that you were oh, no, just, finished the way you did? Again, I just think that you know we had good leadership and the guys had a good look. You know, just just talking to them on the sideline and everything. We just we just climbed out of it one play at a time. You know, and I, I thought the guys were positive about it. We had we had good leadership. Dallas Kerb. Brad, the offense, Nick Linder comes to mind. Just guys were just like, hey, let's just climb out of it. And uh, again, we did we didn't do a lot of th we had a lot of unforced errors early. You know, missed field goals, didn't convert in the red, uh, missed some tackles. So uh, we put ourselves in a bad position. We really did. Starting the game off with, a, with another kick out of bounds, starting off in the 35 again. So those things will get cleaned up. Do you have an explanation about the catch on the sidelines? Like, I think I thought you called timeout maybe to get them to take a look at it. Did you ever get an explanation? I asked for, uh, I, don't, I don't want to get into it. I'm sorry. Uh, second, second week in a row where you guys got to deal with the lightning. How do you keep those guys focused? Uh, again, it's not, I mean, it's not ideal, Manny. I'm not going to lie to you, but I mean, it, it is what it is. And uh, again, both times we came out of it pretty good, you know. So uh, I think. Uh, you know, obviously uh, the second half we came out of it pretty good, but uh, you know we just—it uh, is what it is. You know, I mean, what can we do about it? You know, I think I think our guys handled the adversity and get too—they just rolled with it. You know, um, again, was it perfect? No. Would I like to have a you know kind of a cleaner game? Heck yeah. Would, would I have liked to have a cleaner week? Yeah. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, now I'm just grateful that I think we're healthy and we got to get these guys out of here and get them healthy. Now this, um, this team's mentality has been in focus. You know, we talked about it off the camp. Did you get a sense that they looked ahead towards Nebraska for a little bit in this game? Oh, I don't think so. No, I'm going to say it again. I, I knew exactly. I, I kept saying to you guys, and everybody wants to talk about next week and and this, that, and everything. I knew exactly what we were getting into. All you have to do is turn on the tape. I mean, they, they had six and six hundred yards on the road, 45 points, and. Missed some red zone opportunities on themselves. So again, uh, you know they're they're doing a really good job. I thought they were physical on defense. They they uh, they attacked us, and uh, it took it took us a while to kind of push them back a little bit. So and again, that's you know, again. I hope there's not guys in the room that come out here and say they were 
they were looking ahead, I hope, because they knew exactly what we were getting into coming up here in this environment. And if you couldn't tell the second you walked out, you're, you're out of your mind. But if anybody thought this was going to be anything but this kind of environment, you're nuts. And that's what I prepared the team for all week. How defensively it looked like there were a lot of pre-snap, either uh, alignment issues or communication. Didn't, the first didn't get lined up as quickly as we needed to yeah, and as efficiently. Reason? Uh, it wasn't good. It wasn't, it wasn't good enough. That's it. There's, there's, there's no excuse. And, um, we just had a couple of our deals there um, right for the long run. Obviously, we had a substitution error that kind of got everything out of whack, and, and, uh, and then we got we got split because of it. So uh, we got to get it got to get it cleaned up. And again, I'm just uh, I'm just grateful we're healthy and go out there and practice. You had a follow. Uh, did it continue throughout the game? Or no, I thought we settled down. No, I thought we settled down. Yeah, no, I thought we settled down for sure. Uh, fourth down, you guys were good again, but third down continues to be an area where you guys are struggling to convert. Yep, need to improve. Uh, need to, need to, again, we, we threw a couple in there. We got to, we got to catch the ball a little bit better, and we got to protect a little bit better. Uh, and then we got to, and, and I said it during the week, you know, when the third, the deeper you are, you know, the more pressure you're going to get from this group. And, uh, and they did a good job. They, you know, we talked about those pass rushers early in the week. So, again, that there's not one thing about that game or about that team that surprised me. And I told Coach after the game, I, I think uh, they're doing a great job, and they were aggressive as can be. Uh, really, they were. They were. They were aggressive. They were confident. Uh, they were physical, and uh, and uh, our guys knew exactly what, what we were in for. You talked going into Bethune about how much you like Cam and how much you just how much had, you, the good feel you had for this team. How much have you learned in the last six days? Well, this was big. I, you know, again, I, I know everybody wants it to be 65 to, to seven or you know 65 to nothing, but we learned a lot about our team now. Uh, right there, we learned a lot about our team. So we faced some adversity. We stayed together, and uh, the leaders leaders led. Nobody panicked. The coaches, everybody was good at halftime. Everybody had a good look, and and again, it wasn't ideal. You know, you, you could easily come in and say, oh, "Man, what the heck is going on? We're not, we're not, we're not finishing drives. We got the lightning again." And, you know, but nobody did that. Everybody just kept playing, and uh, we're going to learn a lot from this. Uh, we're going to be a better team when we come back to work. And again, my priority over the next three days is to get us get us uh, healthy, get us rested up. Couple more questions, guys. Thanks for bailing me out, Tom. Just a couple more. <laughs> it's like 3 a.m. Joe, Joe, and Mark. Go on. <laughs> Joe and Mark, I mean, they, I know when Gus Edwards went out, he was your big guy, supposedly, and they, they just barreled through yeah. loads of defenders. Well, I think, you know, I, I, I again, I, I know, like, when you're on your side, you know, is he just, is he just coach speak? Is he just, no, we rotated all those guys with the one. It was probably the best thing that we did in training camp, and they all got used to it, and there was nobody, you know, there was never going to, we just didn't want to drop off, and I think those guys are doing a good job. And, and the thing about Trayon Gray is he's, He's so much leaner now. He's so much quicker. He's doing a better job protecting the football. He's going to keep getting more. He's going to be. He's going to be so much better on Tuesday than he was today. So uh, we have a chance to be deeper there than we were today. Last question. Now, right. who would you say made the most improvement from game one to game two? Who made the most improvement? Uh, I'm going to say hello to my wife and then watch the tape on the way home, and I'll I'll, I'll let you know. But I thought Brad. I thought Brad really settled in nicely. Um, Joe and Mark, you know, I think, you know, and uh, I thought the secondary settled in and got active. You know, we had some interceptions, uh, we got physical there, and again, it, it wasn't it wasn't going right early. And those guys, you know, were some of the issues, right? That, you know, we missed some tackles there. And then they come back and they're ultra physical and finishing plays. So uh, again, I'm uh, just happy that uh, they had that good look and stayed together. It was really important for us.